Now, what yoga means is, the boundaries that we have drawn with the instrument of body and mind, you consciously obliterate, so that when you sit here, your experience of life is not contained just to the limitations of your body or your thinking process or your emotional process. Your ability to experience life as a life, not as a body, because if you experience this life as a body, this is me, that is you, there is no way to mix this. If you go as a mind or a thought process, this is me, that is you, no way to mix it up. But if you go as a life, fundamental life process, there is no distinction between this and that, not to, just between two human beings, between everything and everything, there is no distinction. So the word yoga means union, that you consciously obliterated the boundaries of your individuality. That is why you know a sense of union. We are anyway in union with the existence. The problem is, it's not in our experience because we are too caught up with our individual experience. What yoga means is, you stretch the boundaries of your sensations. As there is a physical body, there is a sensory body. If your sensory body expands, let us say your sensory body became as large as this hall, then you will experience all these people as a part of yourself. As you experience the five fingers as yourself, you will experience all these people as yourself. Even for a moment, if you experience all these people as a part of yourself, after that, do I have to teach you morals, ethics, be good to this person, don't kill this person, don't harm this person, would you need teachings? I'm asking you. This is what yoga means. It is not a teaching, it is not a philosophy, it is not an ideology. It is a technology of obliterating the boundaries of your individuality.